Welcome aboard Explorers to a brand new video. I am the Hidden Mickey Guide back at you again. Now today, I am talking about Disney versus Universal. I apologize for the fan in the back. Uh, this room heats up a lot and I just, I would die. <laughs> I would perish without this fan. So I, I, I apologize for the noise in the background. I mean, I can turn it down a little bit. All right, I turned it down. Um, I turned it down a little bit, guys. But um, yeah, let's get into the video. Now, a lot of people uh, are split. Some people love Universal. Some people love Disney. Personally, I think Disney is way better. Now, not, well, yeah, okay, so it's better. And Universal, people always say, oh, well, Universal's about the thrills. Disney's for kids. No, it's really not. Disney's about the kid at heart. And for people that just want to have a magical experience, you want to be immer immersed in this environment, this this technical marvel. I mean, everything, the technology that they put into their attractions is utterly fantastic. And Disney is just amazing, especially the Magic Kingdom and Disneyland. Now, um, those parks are marvelous. I mean, they are incredible. All the lands, all of the exploration you can make, and it's not just for children, but also for adults, people of all ages. And that's really what I like about Disney. We have slow attractions, but that doesn't mean it's for kids. These slow attractions have variety. They want to take you on adventures, on stories that, you know, it would work better on a slow attraction. For, for example, the mini adventures of Winnie the Pooh, It's a Small World, all of those attractions are slow because they're supposed to be slow and you really get immersed in the story of what they're trying to show you. And I love Disney, especially Magic Kingdom. I'm not going to talk about the other parks. I'm talking about Magic Kingdom uh, yeah, at the moment. Um, it has a lot of variety. You have thrill rides, okay? You have a lot of these really fast attractions. A lot of people say that Disney doesn't have thrill rides. Well, it does. It has a lot of thrill rides. It has Space Mountain, um, Thunder Mountain, Splash Mountain, the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train, and the upcoming um, Tron. So there's a lot of variety here for you thrill ride seekers, and it is fantastic. Then we have some carnival attractions, kind of um, Dumbo the Flying Elephant, the Magical Carpets of Aladdin, the, I think, the Prince Charming Regal Carousel, I think that's what they call it. Those are carnival attractions, in my opinion. Um, then you have the dark rides, which are for all ages. Anyone can ride them. They're very good for young children, and they're very good for people that just want to have a fun Disney experience. There's no scary element to it most of the time. I mean, Pirates of the Caribbean and the Haunted Mansion could be a little bit terrifying for your children. I know I was afraid of Haunted Mansion when I was a kid. Most kids are afraid of the Haunted Mansion. Um, it's just... It's a scary attraction for younger audiences, but most odd, uh, most attractions in Fantasyland are for all ages. And then you have flume rides, uh, and then you have shows, which involves audio animatronics. There's so much variety at Disney. Anyone could go on these attractions. Anyone. Um, Universal, however, there's not as much variety. You have two classic dark ride attractions, which is Men, Men in Black, Alien Attack, and E.T. at Universal. At Islands of Adventure, you have the Cat in the Hat, and that's it. <laughs> Everything else is a water ride or a screen-based thrill ride or a roller coaster. And that's not good because <clears throat> you want to have variety. When you go to Universal <clears throat> before, you had screen rides that were really fast, and then you had these old attractions that immerse you in the movie. For example, Twister or Terminator 2 3D. Um, all of that just really mixed in very well. It blended in very well. And when they took out those elements, you just have screen-based attractions now and roller coasters. And it just doesn't work anymore. I remember going to Universal Studios last year. Oliver just went over the weekend. And I remember going on some screen rides. They were fun at first, but eventually it got old and tired because if you've been on one, you've been on them all. You get the same effects where it shoots water at your face. You have the same effects that just shoots, you know, uh, smells and stuff. And Universal, too, um, I don't think the lands are as strong as at Disney. 
I mean, they really immerse you at Disney. Now, a, a big plus at Universal has to be Harry Potter. Now, Harry Potter at Universal and Islands of Adventure, I'm not going to lie, is freaking fantastic. They've blended in screens, roller coasters, animatronics, and real actual sets within the world. And I just have to congratulate Universal Studios for creating the wizarding world of Harry Potter. It is freaking awesome. And... You don't want to miss it, but that's really the like the pivotal thing at Universal, in my opinion. That's like the pivotal thing to do. And then people talk about the roller coasters, like the Hulk and the Rip Ride Rocket. There's only like in the Mummy, okay. So there's only three. Um, I'm pretty sure. And then you have the Woody the Woodpecker roller coaster, but it's more for a family audience, and people don't really talk about that, unfortunately. And um, yeah, so. Universal, they don't really have, it just feels like more of a back lot, at Uni especially at Universal Orlando. Now, I do like the Hollywood Boulevard replica area, but everything else looks just like a back lot, and it looks like attractions thrown in together. Every attraction looks like it's th it's th thrown in, um, and it needs it needs uh, some big work. Now, you have the Simpsons Land, which is a mini land. It's fine, I guess, but it's nothing like what they would do at Disney. Then you have Men in Black Land. They're all paper cut lands, you know, they're just shoved in there. And, you know, at Disney, you have big lands, you know, like Adventureland. And then you have attractions based off of these lands. Um, and they do that at Islands of Adventure. Unfortunately, it doesn't work as well. Um, it just it just doesn't work as well because I feel like it's, it's harder for... Um, yeah. Okay, so I, I, I don't... Uh, yeah, whatever. And, you know, Universal, it's fun. It's fun. Um, it's, it's fun, 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 I guess. But it gets old uh, after you go on these screen rides so long. I mean, it's, I mean, you just... You get so bored. I remember... I just... Oh, but there's, like, not a lot of variety. Everything is a screen ride or a water ride or a roller coaster. I mean, you have variety there. Um, but believe me, there's not a lot of variety like you think. Um, there's a lot more variety at Disney. And let's talk about, um, the characters, the attractions themselves. Whenever I go on a universal attraction, a new universal attraction, I'm not talking about old ones like E.T., I'm talking about new ones, it feels like they're trying to sell you a product where they're, they're trying to market to a film where they want you to buy tickets for the film or, you know, watch their film, uh, blah, blah, blah. And it, it just hurts the overall experience. When you go on a attraction at Universal, you just feel like you're in a commercial. When at Disney, you actually feel like you're there. Now, they've they've done the same thing at Disney a couple times. For example, Frozen. But it's very, very rare in my opinion. For example, let's talk about Avatar at Animal Kingdom at Disney. Avatar, the world of Pandora, is based off of James Cameron's film Avatar. However, it feels nothing like it. It feels like a completely new experience, and it just takes the name Avatar and sends you on a new journey, a new adventure, something exciting and fresh we've never seen before. I guarantee if this was at Universal, we would be right in the movie with Sam Worthington, Sigourney Weaver, and it would just be a carbon cut, paste, uh, commercial you know, the commercial way. It would feel like you're flying on a commercial, blah, blah, blah. I love the characters more at Disney. I think there's so much more heart in their attractions because you have practical sets. Now, there are some screen attractions. Um, there's only um, there's only one screen attraction at Magic Kingdom. Well, there's two. Well, yeah, yeah, two, which is Monsters, Inc. and Mickey's Real and Magic. Everything else is practical. Everything... Uh, everything will... It, it's practical. Sorry, guys, I'm reading off my screen. I mean, think about the Haunted Mansion, how it's actually real. Everything is real. If you got up from your Doom Buggy, you could touch that. When you're at Universal, if you get up from your from your seat, you just touch a, uh, a wall. Um, but Universal, they don't do completely bad things. They've created awesome lands like Jurassic Park and, like I said before, Harry Potter. And E.T. is one of my favorite attractions of all time. And Men in Black. And I actually have a personal love for the Cat in the Hat uh, in Seuss Landing. I think it's a very, very fun area. 
Uh, people always say, oh, oh, it's for children. Well, the reason why they say it's for children is because there's not enough variety. If we had more attractions like that, then people would go on the Cat in the Hat, in my opinion. Now, I could be wrong, but if there were more dark rides, people might have given Cat in the Hat a better chance. But when people go to Cat in the Hat nowadays, they go, oh, I don't want to go on that. That's slow. I want to go on, like, Spider-Man, blah, blah, blah. It just, it's just poor. It's really sad how people treat these these older attractions like E.T. or um, the Cat in the Hat. And I, I, I like those attractions. They're great family fun. And I, I think they're for all ages, and I love them. Um, and Universal, you know, it's been suffering with Jimmy Fallon, the Fast and the Furious. And, I mean, it's pretty sad when you go to Universal and you only think about Harry Potter. Because that is, like, the only marvelous thing they have. Like, the only, like, truly magical thing they have. I mean, sure, you have Jurassic Park, but that gets old. Um, and, you know, King Kong, all of that. But it gets old. Harry Potter is truly the magical experience. When at Magic Kingdom, at Disney, it's all a magical experience. I mean, every single turn at Disney is magical. When at Universal, it's pretty sad that Harry Potter has to be the only sort of magical thing. I mean, E.T. is really magical, but it's in this really outdated part of the park, um, and people don't really think about that area. So you have Harry Potter at Universal. At Disney, you have practical sets. You have more variety. You have better characters. You have more uh, things to do, more adventures, everything. And people need to stop talking about Universal being the best, now, in the old days, Universal could actually compete with Disney. I really enjoyed old Universal where they had shows like Twister and they had a lot of variety where you felt like you were riding the rides. And that's what I loved about old Universal. It could actually compete with Disney. Um, but unfortunately, it's just been going down the pooper for the last couple years. Since about 2013, 2014, we've just... Universal's been down the drain, and Disney's been kicking Universal's butt. Disney is for all ages. Disney, regardless of age, you can enjoy, and that's what I like about Disney. And it's so fantastic at how they create these attractions at Disney. You know, there are screen attractions, but most of the time they are done right. When at Universal, it just feels like they keep repeating the same, same thing again and again and again. Regardless of the new technology, it just feels the same. They need something fresh and that's what avatar did at animal kingdom they took the screen based ride system and they turned it on its head and made it fresh new and exciting so i hope you enjoyed my video disney wins and what do you guys think universal or disney let me know down below universal in my opinion is that cheap company disney you are my number one Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed my video. And remember, adventure is out there. See you in the next one. Oh, and guys, I'm going to Disney October 12th. All right, bye, everyone.